Okay, in Angel, one neat idea you could use possibly is a Dropbox. Uh, instead of having the kids log on and show what they've done and get, allowing the other students to see everyone's work, you could put everything in one little Dropbox so everyone could see everyone else's work if you want them to see it. There's different settings you can do in the Dropbox. But let me just show you an example here real quick. So here's a Dropbox. So maybe they're going to drop their paper in there. So all the kids would have their, their images, their documents, their videos, whatever the case may be, and they could watch them all. So I'm just going to click on my submit it file. It says winter ice, cool you down, and there it is. I'll close that out, and then I could go right back, and I could look at another one. But we're going to go back and show you how to add the Dropbox. So it's going to be as simple as, and I'm in the content area, the lessons, you could actually add it in the repo, the repository, and link to it. I'm just going to put it in here for now. So add content. And we're going to find Dropbox. And you know this is our sample one, but you'd put the name of it here. You could have a subtitle right here. And you could have some directions of, of how, what they need to do to use the Dropbox. Access. Now I'm on the Advanced tab. Uh, member, you could make it open on a certain date. That's pretty simple. Submissions. How many things can they put in the Dropbox? Here's the important one right here, Review. Normal users see only their own submissions. Sometimes you want them only to see their own, and then maybe after the due date when everything's due, then allow them to see all submissions. So you could change this after everyone has submitted, then they could view each other's. So it's kind of up to, uh, to you. And these other ones we really don't need there. So uh, that's about all you need to look at. And we'd say save. And there's my sample. And it says directions. Of course, that's where I type the directions. You would put the directions there. And they would put their name in here if they wanted to, or they would say image of whatever. And they could type you a little message. Oh, got to attach a file. So I'm going to browse for a file. Uh, maybe it's going to be a movie. Upload. There it is. And finished. Then they have to submit. OK. And there it is. And it's, that's it. So give Dropbox a try. It works out really well.